Eso. Today we're heading towards Finca Halakate, where a local artist has carved murals into the sides of the cliffside. Before we make it there though, we are going to check out a beautiful waterfall on the way and we're gonna find a nice spot to spend the night. the town we've been in the last few days, Esteli. And over here, a nice looking cliff. Here we got the sunset action, over layers of hills, all the way to Honduras, that out. We brought the dog and the cat on this little walk. Sombrita got to play with the dogs here. She's carried this thing. Que tienes? Sombrita! Carried this bone the whole way up here. Those animals can do their thing. But I think I found the money mirador spot here. It's worth a little 15 minute walk, for sure. That's about to go behind the clouds, so probably get the cat packed up. So already thinking about it. That'll do it for the sunset in Nicaragua, and I just feel really amazed that I've watched the sunset with this cat in Alaska, and now Nicaragua. The best little buddy you could ever ask for. Doesn't run away. He likes to be outside. You're a good boy. Oh, chin scratchy. So we got the cat in front. Hey, the trust. Dog behind. No leashes. Buena chica. The cat's arguably easier in front because this dude wants to check out everything. I don't know, I'm not like necessarily touching him. But when Emily's here, she'll go in front so he has something to follow. But he's really good about finding a trail. And even if his tail just touches my leg, he'll, he'll kind of understand, all right, all right. You know, and if he really doesn't want to walk, then you can just put him in the backpack. The dog really has to know the command. Detrás, behind, detrás. Buena chica, siéntate. You know, dogs, you feed them, treat them this. Teach him those commands. Emily taught me all this. But she needs to know detrás because if you're riding a bike, that's how she learned detrás. Don't want to run over your dog. But it's also really useful for hiking. You can keep one person in front, one person behind, dog between on steep parts. We had a peaceful night next to a little farm. So now we're going to check out Finca Alacate, Clipside Carvings by a local artiste. ¿Cómo lo hace? Ah, con cincel. Eh. Oh. Tiene 43 años de material. 43 años. Ajá, sí. ¿Y construyeron todo también? Toda esta casa que voy haciendo ahí. Ajá. Wow. ¿Y con los cinco hermanos? Ajá. No, solamente yo las hago estas casas. ¿Y no se puede traerlo con carro? No, es a todo que traiga la ma madera. Hoy, hoy puse esta banca. ¿Sí? Está acabada de clavar. Ah, oh, muy bien. World Trade Center. Wow. You're starting to really see some deep cutting of the stone. Wow. The boat that discovered the Americas.
Y con color también. Hago colores para pintar. Para pintar. Ajá, sí. Aquí ¿Era una cueva natural antes? No, la he hecha desde aquí, la voy cobrando para allá, así todo eso es. Wow. Wow. Ajá. al inicio a ah, un 16 de julio wow ajá ahí está ya es viejo ese cuadro eh. ajá Baby pineapple. Qué túnel verde. That's a pineapple. Love it. Try these bananas. The but the red ones. Alacate means. Flower. <laughs> A yellow sunflower looking flower. Lacate. Alberto Gutierrez. Alberto Gutierrez. Muchas gracias. It's our tour. I'm the creator of this place. And he sent us off with some more bananas. He just has like a branch of a banana tree in his in his place there. And he gave us one extra too. I got two more in my pocket. Such a nice guy. Yeah, that was a really incredible experience just to see it from the artist's own eyes. Even more than that, just a 81 year old living his dream. Every day he just paints, draws on rocks, creates things. Mm -hmm. And that must be such a fulfilling life. You know, I imagine every day he does what he wants all day. And I think that is the ultimate measure of success. Yeah. As well as being happy. Yeah, and he eats off of his land, it seems like, yeah, all day. Has yeah. all these pine pineapple plants and orange trees and banana trees and pear trees. <laughs> Beautiful place. There it is. Pick out the nail. Put something in. Ya está. It's not a mia. Well, I guess that's how quick they can fix a flat here in Latin America. I wondered a little bit about the efficacy of the technique. And so we're gonna go buy a measuring device, you know, the air pressure checker. So we'll go buy an air pressure checker and just keep an eye on it. Honestly, I don't really wanna leave the town for another 30 minutes, just give it another test, see how it's holding up. But hey, that was $1.50, fix a flat. <laughs> we'll see how it stays. Hey, what's the guy from yesterday? There's a partner here. Cascada Blanca. Shows of love. After, remember? At least wash the feet off. See, this is what I was 
imagining in Honduras <laughs> when they said you could go behind the waterfall. This is a lot easier. The fix-up that we put in earlier wasn't really the best because it's still leaking. <laughs> so we're gonna get a more professional looking place to get a patch. Oh, is this that, huh? Tonight's festivities brought to you by Cola Schaller <laughs> Cola flavor soft drink. Cola Schaller for the shot callers. <laughs> and Flor de Caña, Añejo five year rum. Cheers. Delicious. We're gonna head to another finca and wait a little while to see if the tire patch worked. This place has some trails for the pets to get out and wander around. It's perfect for us. So I wanna show you guys where we're staying right now. Just in the parking here of a very nice place. The river here, you can see all these cabins they rent. That's the main building. And they're growing coffee all over here too. So I've got a bag of coffee for just $4. Coffee they make right here. Your electric generator made out of an old bus alternator. Ooh, right? He was waking us up early this morning. He's been getting so much side time lately that he wants to wake up early and he wants to wake us up early to take him outside. When we finally go for this hike, he's sleeping and he didn't even want to come. So I got to wake him up. Justice Cat. I think the dog behind him is working pretty well. And today is one year with Sombrita. Sombrita! We adopted her one year ago. Buena chica! Uh, reserve. There's a nice camp spot here. Beautiful finca. The ranch. A natural pool, bathrooms, restaurant, cafe. We have some trails here for hiking. It's called Aguas de Arenal. Ooh, might get a view here. I think all that covered stuff might be caught. Sombrita's enjoying her adoption party. Happy adoption day! Water and snacks. You think she'll catch it? I hope so. Oh! Yay! Oh! Boy, yeah, baby! Happy adoption, day, baby! Oh! On her birthday, we got her at. We got a pair. Yeah, we got her a big piece of chicken. He's so warm. My little cuddle boy. You're so warm. Oh. He's a good boy. 
He's the best cat in the world. That's true. Sombrita is good about picking up trash when she finds it <laughs> and carrying it all the way back. She loves plastic bottles. Well, Graham got to meet their cat. The other cat started making a crazy meow noise. She said that she, that cat makes that noise whenever she sees other cats. <laughs> Beautiful place here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time when we meet up with some good friends and do some epic adventures here.